<laughs> All right, here we go. Okay. <clears throat> Today's Reddit tip is going to bore some of you to tears. <laughs> I'm serious. Who cares about roofs? Some of you don't even care about roofs one bit, but some of you do. And some of you are having some issues with the roofs that you've been placing. And there's one little tip I want to show you guys. Now, roofs are amazing. You can do all kinds of stuff. I mean, curved roofs. You can do eyebrow roofs. You can do roof extensions. You can do all kinds of stuff with roofs. And if you guys start axing me, I mean, asking me, to show you some of the tricks with roofs, I'll go there. But first, I want to show you the, one of the most common issues with roofs, okay? And for those of you who don't care about roofs, just relax, sit back, and enjoy a little tip that you know the other people struggle with. You may as well know more than them, huh? So when you're sitting down, relax, and you say, hey, I know the trick about roofs. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let me turn on Revit and get rocking and rolling for you. Here we go. I put my little face up here and there's Revito. And yeah, look at that. Virtual BIM management. Ha ha ha. That's me. Anyway, <clears throat> here we go. By the way, if you guys need a BIM manager, and you're out there in the world and you need someone to help you with all this crazy stuff that Revit throws at you, I'm your man. So go to my website and then give me a call. All right, man. So here we go. So check this out. Let's go to the plan. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about roofs. Um, this is, yes, I know. This is our floor plan, plan of our little building here. But let's let's start from scratch. Let's just go over here to an area that is not... Um, I'm going to start from the beginning so that it's, nothing's pre-planned. Look at this. I'm going to put in a wall here, okay? So let's switch over to an exterior wall. <laughs> Something big. Oh, a masonry wall with brick. Okay. Let's suppose your building is a shape like this. La, la, la. La, 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 la. I'm just going to come in here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, lovely, lovely building. Okay. And you guys know you can just drag these buildings. I'm just going to pull this around a little bit. Hey, we don't want symmetry. We want to be able to... Okay, look at this. Grab these two. Go here. Okay. Let's just say there's a building, okay? Now, I'm going to pick all these walls, and I'm going to tell them to go up to the second floor. Make things easier on me. Okay. So here we've got a building, and we need to put a roof on it. I'm going to show you common issue, common, common issue. Okay, let's put a roof over the top of this guy. And so I'm going to go to the site plan first, and there's our little building. And we're talking about a roof over the top of this. So if I go to the roof tool, and it's going to ask me what, I'm going to go to the second floor, what bearing plate is. Second floor, yeah. Okay, so I'm putting the roof right here on the second floor. Now look what you get. Let's just look right, mm, mm, mm. there we go, right up there, right there, the drawing tools. Yes, you've got hexagons and circles and curves and all kinds of stuff, but typically, typically, we've got straight lines for our roofs, but they give you three different, three different tools for making straight lines. They give you just drawing a straight line, they give you click on a line and I'll put an edge right there, or you can click on a wall. Now, let me show you the trick. Tip, when you turn on the roof tool, it's preset right here on the pick a wall tool. And if I were to go click on these walls all the way around, you don't need to click every single one, and I'm gonna hit trim and trim those out, Okay, let's make our roof some like standing seam. Okay, I'm talking about a roof here. Watch this. When I click finish, hey, it finishes beautifully. Do you see how the hip comes right down to the corner? Right, yep, right down to the corner. Well, that is because, I'm going to go back to edit footprint. That's because I created these lines using one single tool. Sometimes people don't do that. 
let's like I can click on this one line here. Let's suppose I made those three lines with the wall tool and I did. But now I'm going to use this tool. Pick on a line. And I'm going to pick and I don't want it to be right there with a zero offset it would put it right there. Okay? I could do that and I could move it over 2 feet or if I delete it I could click here. Oh, I could set the offset to two feet. And then when I click, it lands in the same place that it would have had I used the pick wall tool. And I used trim to clean it up, but I've used two different tools to create this closed loop. And look what happens. Wah! Look at that thing. Because this one line is not using the wall to generate the angle of the roof. It's going out two feet to generate that angle. Okay? Work with me here. It doesn't know the wall is under there. That line doesn't know the wall is under there. And so if you mix and match those, <clears throat> you will come up with issues. Here's another one. Watch this. I'm gonna, I just deleted that roof. I'm going to hit new roof. Yes, I'm going to put it on the second floor. Okay? I'm going to use multiple stuff. Oh, here's a line. I'm just going to use a line up there. Just drew a line. And when I click on it, it tells me it is, let's see how far. I'm going to put a dimension on it from the wall to the line. There we go. Look at that. Two six. No, I'm going to set it at two feet. Click and two. So I use the line tool on that one. And I'm going to use this line offset two feet for that one. Yay. And trim them. Okay, good. Things are good. How about no, the line tool with not an offset? Put it at zero. Click it right there. Oh, that's not where I want it. Move over two feet. Trim. None of these lines know where the actual walls are because I haven't used the wall tool. If I put the wall tool on this guy and use trim, we're going to have whack. Watch. Ready? Ah. See that? Only this one line knows where the wall is. So using multiple tools, mixing and matching between lines that know where the wall is and lines that don't know where the wall is will cause you issues. And to fix it, you add a footprint. Don't it, it stick with one tool or the other. You can pick. I'm going to go back and just look. I could just draw any old line. I'm going to put a dimension on it. See, if, if I use lines that don't know where the wall is, then I can, they will, they're compatible, okay? So I'm going to go to two feet on that. So trim, mm -hmm -hmm. got it, and happy roof, see? Walls that don't know where the wall is, I mean, roofs, roof lines that don't know where the wall is are not compatible with lines that do know where the wall is. Just saying, okay? So, that being said, let me show you one last thing. This roof doesn't know where the walls are, right? Now, let me put one, I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to put a roof over the top of this that does know where the walls are. Ooh, okay? On the same building, and you're going to see problems here, because not just the roof, but when roofs have to work together. Work with me here. Okay, so here we go. I am going to go to the roof tool. And I'm going to say, yes, second floor. And I'm going to put one roof around this other part of the building using the I know where the walls are tool. Okay, here we go. Clickety-click. Just going around here. And trim these out. And done. Now, those, those roofs look pretty similar, don't they? Hmm, they sure do. But I don't think so. I don't think so. Look, I'm going to put a section right through both of them, okay? And we're just going to look at these. Let's go. All right, look at this. Look at the roof heights difference. This one, because it, know, it knew where the walls were, when you highlight it, you can look over on the right, and it has a line item under construction. One of the properties automatically, because it knows where the walls are, it can be set to a truss or a rafter type of a layout, okay? 
and I can switch it to rafter and it seats down so that the weight bearing is on the back of the structural member or if I click on truss it pushes it up so the weight bearing of this rafter would be across the whole top of the wall okay so that being said this other roof if I highlight it take a look it does not have the line item for what whether it's a rafter or a truss because it doesn't know where the walls are so you will have to move it into place and get it aligned to the right place and that's why sometimes people that are working on roofs have to they're, they're looking at them going hey man why why is this one okay now you know why is this one higher why is this one lower I got the same slope on them and I told them both to use the second floor now you know why the lines used to create it need to be compatible and in my humble opinion you should try to use as many that use the wall and know where the wall the height of the wall is so you have much more control you've got that extra line item to control the exact height anyway just wanted to let you guys know that little trick in there oh if you want me to I'll put a connector in between these before I go okay here we go let me go back to the site plan bam quick o connector between these two let me go to roof let me go to second floor and let me go to yes second floor okay what I'm gonna do is make one of these those two lines using the walls you're allowed to mix and match when you're doing little connectoids like this okay connector lines I want this one to not define a slope and this one to not define a slope okay and when I finish that roof this is what we've got okay <coughs> I'm gonna get rid of that roof and make it wait 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 for it edit footprint I'm gonna make all these lines use the walls okay work with it work with me come on quit joking around you silly roof okay trim okay second floor and done okay so this connector see this cute little connector that's in here here's how you do it you put the connector in and then you pick on the modify tool you pick this little roofy tool and this join roof you say this facing edge leans up on this roof bam and this facey edge okay use the same tool this facey edge goes to this roof bam and you've got yourself a connectoid <laughs> don't you love it you gotta love this kind of stuff all right man I hope that helps with your roof creation as you move forward in Revit and if you need any other um, if you have any other questions about roofs put them in the uh, the comments below all right, I hope this helped. You have a great day, and I'll talk to you later. Happy riveting. And how do you turn this off?